What is up everyone, this is Jake, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what I hate about watercoloring. But before we get into my ranting and raving and griping, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss when I post a very mediocre video. So if you watched this channel recently, you could see that I've really been getting into watercolors. Like, a lot. Like, I've really, really been inspired to, to paint with them, and I've really enjoyed them. And that's because of an artist named Scott Christian Safa who apparently has been inspiring me to do art my whole life and I didn't even know it. I recently saw him posting on YouTube. He would post like small women videos, he would do shorts, and I didn't know who he was until I started looking his art up and he had done a lot of art that really inspired me as a kid. There's all kinds of comic books that I had as a kid that he did the covers for and it blew me away. I actually went on his live stream the other day and uh, donated some money to him just because he had been such a huge influence on my life as an artist. The reason I've loved him so much is because he actually does watercolor content that is my style and the main thing I hate about watercolors is there are so few videos and artists who do the style that I want to do and now listen this is not in any way to disparage what they are doing there are some fantastically amazing watercolor artists out there but I'm really not into sceneries and starry skies and animals and like don't get me wrong I can respect any form of art where someone puts work and time and effort into it I love it and I respect it, but it's not what I'm wanting to see personally. So if I'm just wanting to go and get inspired by something, I don't do starry skies. I don't do landscapes. I don't do animals really. So if I want to get inspired, I need to see something that I want to see. One person I saw that I really took an interest with was One Tooth Moose. Uh, I saw her on TikTok and her watercolor skills were incredible, but she did these weird kind of abstract people, but her colors were so vibrant and she would do these highlights and use this turquoise to draw the outlines and it was just so off the wall and inspiring to me. I loved it. So I tried watercolors again and I was like, ah, it's still not for me. And it's mainly because I was using bad quality products. I've learned now. I've upgraded a little bit. I've got some of the uh, the cheaper uh, Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors and they're great. They've changed my watercolor life for sure and I will eventually be upgrading to even better ones. Y'all, I'm a nerd. I love D&D and heavy metal and monsters and comic books. That's my kind of stuff. That's what I want to see. I don't care much for landscapes and starry nights and I just, I would much rather see a barbarian slaying a demon over an altar or a collaboration picture of a Power Ranger fighting a Ninja Turtle. Like that's the kind of things I love. I love 80s and 90s cartoons and I love pop culture. Those are the things I want to see. And Scott Christian Zava draws that stuff. And it took me a long time to realize why I love his art so much. And it's because that's kind of just what I've been building towards for years. Because I realized how much I love those bright colors and the bold outlines and the white outline to accentuate the bold outline. And I just love that. I like my pieces looking monstrous and kind of scary, but at the same time, kind of cartoony. And his style is essentially what my style would be like if I were really good. He's an incredibly good artist. And he's kind of what I strive to be as an artist that makes single pieces of art. Now, my comic book art, I think, is very different, and I want it to stay that way. But as for single piece art, he is where it's at, I think. So I think the lack of diversity in subjects of watercolors is truly what I really hate about watercolors. I'm really not trying to come off as like kind of dickish because I love everyone's art. Like I love a good artist. Anyone who can just put time and effort and practice and just turn their emotion into art, I love it and I appreciate it. But there's some I just like to look at more than others. Everyone has their tastes. And listen, if I am missing someone, if there is a great watercolor artist that does the kind of art that you know I would like to see, let me know in the comments below of who that would be and where I can find them. Because I would love to see someone else's art that really inspires me. Like I said, there's a couple people I saw on YouTube, but very, very few. So if you have an idea of someone I would love to watch and someone I can be inspired by, please let me know in the comments. Let me know, I would love to see them. If you can take something nice and inspirational from this, it is this. If you can't find the art that you want to see, create it yourself, which is exactly what I plan on putting more effort into. As I flip through my sketchbook and I see all these watercolor paintings I've started to do and they're such just my style, like I'm not where I want to be as an artist and honestly I don't think any artist will ever be where they want to be. That's kind of the journey of art. You just want to keep working until you get better. But what I'm going to start doing is making sure I double down and create as much watercolor art of content I want to see in hopes that there's someone out there who will also see it and be inspired by it like I was inspired by Scott Christian Zava. He he really inspired me to try watercolors. I've absolutely loved every second of it. It really has a great cartoony comic book feel. The colors are awesome. They just fit so well. It's what I want to see on canvas. 
that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope that the art I'm creating does inspire you in a way that Scott Christian Salva's art inspires me. So thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and drop me a comment below. Tell me what you thought. And like I said, tell me if there's any other artists you think I would like to see who do watercolor paintings who I could be inspired by. You guys inspire me every day by liking and subscribing and leaving your awesome feedback and joining the Discord and doing the art prompts and hanging out with me on my live streams. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. You guys and gals are absolutely awesome. But thank you all so much. I do really appreciate it and keep on drawing on. Later.